EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. Big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, Falcons! Tevin Coleman, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. The first play from scrimmage. Some of these people haven't even taken their seat. That's what is commonly known as a fast start. That's what my horse racing friends would say. They caught a flyer out of the gate. And guess what? They're in the lead now. Bryant's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Prescott to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think it would. And now look at this. Big game but a fumble. And the Falcons grab it. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. Well, the Atlanta Falcons, their offense takes the field again, and the story for them this year, if you had to sum it up in one word, I think you would agree. It's been injuries in 2018. This is not the year they expected to have. And it really happened on both sides of the ball, but it happened bigger on the defensive Defense. side of the ball. Keanu Neal, their free safety. Ricardo Allen, their strong safety. Deion Jones missed 10 games at middle linebacker. Flip it over to the offense. Devontae Freeman missed much of the season at running back. Both starting guards, Brandon Fusco and Andy Levitri, were both out. You're exactly right. Injuries were the name of the game for the Falcons in 2018. Hopefully they can get everyone back and move forward because that's a dynamite team when they're all together. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. On 
third down. Ryan. And he will go down. The Cowboys sack. Jalen Smith in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Back deep is Tavon Austin. He'll field this at the five. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Prescott looks to throw on first. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. A second down throw for Prescott. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Brian Poole that time there to get a hand on it. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Hey, 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 you got three, you got three, three down, three down. Two go, 46. Prescott from the gun. He finds his man, it's Austin. A very solid gain of 27. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Power running by Zeke. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here go 47. Woo. 26. They keep on the ground with Elliott. About three yards there to the 27. 
What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on, right, and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. They'll try to sweep with Elliott. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal operating from the eight yard line. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Here we go, 46. Here we go, here we go, 48. Flushed out right. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Partner, it's decision time now. I know it's still just the second quarter, but you have an opportunity to either kick the field goal or go for it and try and score a big-time touchdown. This is why the head coaches get paid the big bucks. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And did the offense get it back? They did at the one-yard line. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Falcons able to muster together a goal line stand. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Get They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Two. 
Now Ryan down around the goal line. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Prescott on first down. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. But he used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. A good pick up there of 20 yards. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A give to Elliott. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Last stop. Last stop. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. 47, 47. 47. It's coming now. Watch twitch. Gun. Sweat. Sweat and air. Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun, gun. Here we go, 47. 46. To throw his press gun. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. On third down, it's Prescott. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Go, 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 get out there, get out there. 46. Sweat, sweat, and egg. Hey, we're going right there, we're going right there. 46. Prescott to throw on fourth. That's going to be caught. That he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup, 28 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now the extra point try forthcoming. Extra point. 
point right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. Gets past one man. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and 10, it's Ryan. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays. Julio Jones all alone. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 56 yards. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Go ahead, go ahead, Managing go ahead. risk, this is a big decision here. Single, single. A first down throw for Prescott. On the right side, this is Austin with a pass. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On first and ten, Prescott. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Good. 
and 47. Here we go, 46. 46. Now Prescott. And this is Clark, it's Cooper. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. 46. Third and short yardage, Prescott dancing to his left. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're gonna need a little bit better effort in the second half. So we've hit intermission. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. Seven here. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Toss left to Elliott. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Pardon, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Then we're going to 53. Again, it's Allen. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Just get the playoff. Now Prescott. 
And that's caught by Smith. That one good for 15 and a first. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun, gun. We got 46. Switch, switch and egg. Check, check, watch, watch, watch. A second down throw for Prescott. To the right side, he's got Cooper, it's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Here's Prescott. The open man is Smith. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The tackle made there by Tack McKinley. They you know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. to his left and he will not throw it away he goes out of bounds well shy of the line of scrimmage so that's a sack it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings up third down The Cowboys on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Hard throw, incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And his kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. That'll be taken in the end zone. <laughs> and an excellent return there as he's up to the 35, but make it the 40-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games.
Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down, saves him from a three and out. this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Get up! They will run again with Coleman. Shifts by him. Oh, he's got some breathing room. 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Tevin Coleman, his second touchdown of the night. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he is out of bounds here on the return. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Here we go. 48. Here we go. 46. Sweat. Sweat and eight. I got it. I got it. I got it. Prescott looks to throw on first. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. First down, Prescott. Bearing it out for Hearns. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do, you and your brothers, just take the broom tea and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle <laughs> yourselves. I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Sweat, sweat, and egg. Here we go. Fighting. Check, check, watch the a second down throw for Prescott. And he comes back with one complete. 
And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. He's back to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Cooper was the intended target, and it's third down. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Vic B. In there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. One score down, here we go. Go ahead, go ahead, go They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. They had to go for it with such little.
ain't it. Go, 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 get out there, get out there. Wait, he's taking... EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. First down. This one caught left side by Cooper. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 
Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press it so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run back to the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. A nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Good, good, good. Here we go, 46. Good, good, good. Here we go, 46. Here we go, 46. 46. A first down throw for Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so, and gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it, and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Prescott to throw it. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Prescott from the gun. Yeah. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. This is first and goal from about the eight. To the air again, Prescott. Forced out to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Here we go. 46, Mike. Here we go. 46. Woo. Good. Woo. Here we go. 46. Here we go. 46. 46. And now with the play clock winding down, Jason Garrett opts to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari 
Cooper. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. The try here for the extra point. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Get set, get set, get set. Three, get set. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. On second down, here's Breeze. Oh, no, it's Thomas. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. down carry it's Camaro and a good pick up there he gets about six up to midfield despite the blitz they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain the disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there with Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon it's Saints football to begin quarter number two that the next few months very big in the competitive Madden Championship Series. A few weeks ago, we saw Skimbo go back-to-back. -back. That's right, back-to-back, -back, second straight year. You're fired up. And then next up, the Madden Challenge, and it's a $190,000 prize pool, and the ladders to qualify for that tournament now available in Mutt Draft Mode. Exciting things. By the way, what would your... Do you have a gamer tag, Charles? No, I do not have a gamer tag. You must be a good player in order to earn a moniker. Get out, get out. Following 
the interception. Here's Prescott. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Work. Ball Work. on the 42 Work. as they come up second and Here 10. Here we go, 46. Here we go, 46. 46. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. Took that in one handed. What a grab. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. He got 29 yards that time. What a catch and one handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves. They do have a little grip to them, they don't they? a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. It'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the play. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. 26. 26. Elliott, toss right. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. One man in the backfield, that's Elliott on second and goal. Here we go, 47, 47. 46. They get it to him running left. Spins past him. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. 47, 47. 41 for Will. 47. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Point after here, coming up. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The football going back to the New Orleans Saints. And I wanted to ask you, Charles, for the Saints, how you think they stack up against the other teams near the top of the NFC, the Rams, the Bears? Where do you think they figure in? Well, they can score well enough that if the Rams set a heavy pace, they can go out and they can score with them and stay right there. They have enough defense that if Chicago makes it a low-scoring defensive affair, they got enough defense to win that way. So my answer in short order is they stack up with anyone. In a lot of ways, I think everyone has to figure out they stack up with New Orleans mm. because at the end of the day, Drew Brees is calling plays for the New Orleans Saints and throwing the football downfield. He could be the difference in any big game. And maybe they have a little extra motivation with the way their season ended last year against Minnesota. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Ready. You ready? Yes. Breeze 
to throw on second down. He's going to float this one deep right. And that's caught inside the 35. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Ready. Ready. Hey, kill, kill. First down, Breeze. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. They're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. Ready? Taken down here at about the 11. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Touchdown, and the Saints have cut it back within a score. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Lutz with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to seven. Lutz now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he is out of bounds here on the return. And now here come the Cowboys. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. But I really like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... And that's caught inside the 35! The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. 
And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Ball on the 30 as they come up, second and 10. On second down, Prescott again. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Ken Crowley. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, some news that gave us a chuckle, and we could all use that around the holiday season. Josh Johnson, a great story. He was back home in Oakland when the Redskins called to see if he'd like to join him for the remainder of the season. So how did he get to know his new teammates? Well, what did he do? He turned to the Madden game, Charles. Yeah, and that's how you learn who they are, right? Learn what they do, have some tendencies, get some ideas about their speed and what they do well and maybe what they don't do so well. And it really helped him acclimate and got himself a big victory in week 15 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. How about the bloodline of Josh Johnson now? Also related to Marshawn Lynch of the Oakland Raiders and Marcus Peters of the Los Angeles Rams. Pretty good company. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. timeout here as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one so from the 36 now first and 10 see a play on first down we're going to get a timeout instead as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half and brings up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Hey, yellow lady. Breeze will try again on second down. He'll let it fly. It's caught at the 10. Now a timeout called with three seconds to go. And, of course, they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And Lutz's kick is good. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. They're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Level, 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 level. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And his throw here is incomplete. Chidabe Awuzie there to make the play in coverage. Hey, we got a second here. Let's go back to week 15 following the win over Green Bay for Chicago. Happiness rained down on the field. The Bears claiming the NFC North title, but one Bear took his celebration to an extreme. I know you saw this. Yes, I certainly did. Charles Leno Jr., left tackle for the Chicago Bears, got down on a knee and proposed to his girlfriend, Jennifer. So not only celebrating an NFC North title, but now his proposal accepted by Jennifer, who will now be Mrs. Jennifer Leno Jr.? No, no Jr. <laughs> no Jr. By the way, smart move because she's not going to say no in front of 60,000 people. No, I've seen it happen before. Not pretty, but not in this case. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Complaint to Watson, the tight end. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That throw good for four. It's second down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, he couldn't turn it into much more. Running with Kamara. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. On first and 10, here's Breeze. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Jalen Smith coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Now left side here to Bryant. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Breeze now 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Breeze. On the check down, he finds Kamara. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw, it's Breeze. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Ted Ginn, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Yeah. 
Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now 17-14. Lutz now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Prescott from the gun. And that is incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Well, partner, league-wide, I think we're set up for a wild month of January. It seems like this season, more than others, we've had a number of teams that you maybe say, hey, they're the Super Bowl favorites. Kind of the Rams early, then it was the Chiefs. Patriots kept winning, and the Saints, and now, heck, maybe even the Texans or the Bears could claim that moniker. Yeah, it's going to make for a wild month of January. And you just wonder right now, are we missing a team or two that's just a little bit outside the playoff hunt? Could they get hot and be those teams you don't want to play and carry that momentum all the way to the Super Bowl? Yes, I'm looking at the Indianapolis Colts as one of those teams. Hey, we got to get this stop here, team. 41's the will. Second down, Prescott. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan. In there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Here we go, 46. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. Escaping the pressure right. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Got it! They begin on the ground with Camaro. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. 
Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Palms, this is my theme of Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. We're good, we're good. By four, right. Got it. They'll run it now to the gun. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Second down, Kamara fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Shotgun now for Breeze. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Breeze to another longtime vet, Ginn, for the New Orleans first. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Ready? You ready? Hey, easy. Fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. to the ground, it's Camaro. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Call it an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. play being knocked back to the 18 it'll wind up being a loss of two and it'll be fourth down so a big one coming now for will lutz from the right hash it's a 35 yard attempt Puts this one through. 
And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And out now come the Cowboys. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. He's back to throw. Wide over to Cooper. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Prescott now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. up to the 25. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. They'll look to throw. This is caught. It's Cooper. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance.